I'll wish you all a happy new year now, because let's face it, I'll be in no fit state to do so later on today. But have a lovely night, whatever you are doing. A little transfer roundup for you now. And then later on, uh, we've got a video about the value of the players that West Ham are, are looking to sale. And there's just some details that feed into that from, from the accounts, basically. Uh, we'll cover that a little bit later on. Some news from Kieran Maguire, who's the football finance expert. Uh, let's just deal with the West Ham uh, sort of transfer gossip as, it's, it, as it is now. Don't shoot me don't shoot the messenger these are literally the stories that are doing the rounds in the West Ham news at the moment on the internet in the newspapers uh, okay let's start off with Jadon Sancho because this is one that I've not really discussed an awful lot Jadon Sancho is everybody knows what's going on with him at Manchester United he's fallen out of Eric Ten Hag uh, Sancho's been really public about it he's sort of done some tweets or some social media messages that are being critical of the uh, of the Manchester United manager now, now let's be fair that in itself is no stumbling block to get him back into the Manchester United team as Harry Maguire has shown because Harry Maguire was also a little bit I wouldn't say um, obviously critical of Ten Hag but uh, he was moaning about his treatment at Manchester United and also pr at the same token praising former manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer put the two and two together. It, it was a side swipe really at Ten Hag. However, Maguire got back into the team so the fact that Sancho is, is, is out of the team now doesn't mean he couldn't get back into it. Uh, I think the problem is really there's just no way back and it looks like there's just there's not going to be. This is an £80 million player that they signed from Borussia Dortmund. However, it, it's been rumoured that West Ham are keen I'm struggling to see this one. I've got to be honest. If if we assume that David Moyes is this, the news is true that David Moyes is getting a new uh, contract. I'm, I can't imagine David Moyes goes and gets this player. I, I really can't. You know, it's somebody that that's quite happy to kick off publicly. I, I don't know. But then again, if you'd have told me that, that David Moyes would be interested in Jesse Lingard, I'd have said no because he's got a, a sort of very public social media persona, hasn't he? So I I I don't know. For me, it's been suggested that that Sancho is the the solution to our our, um, our deficiencies at left wing. I just don't ever, I've never seen him as being quick enough to be a winger. I, I really don't. I think one, I, I keep saying it, I think the one thing we need is is pace. We, we've got, we've really addressed some of that with the purchase of uh, Mohamed Kudus. But I think if we're going to do that on the other side, then I, I'd certainly look for pace. I'm not so sure that Sancho is really the guy. I, I may be proven wrong, but I, I, anyway, I'm not going to talk about him any longer because I don't think we'll sign him. Jonathan Tarr, uh, Bayern Leverkusen. He's being really heavily linked to West Ham. Now, I think this is predicated upon us selling Knife for Gerd, which may or may not happen. I'll deal with that in a video later on. Uh, uh, Tarr is... Well, it'd be well known to Tim Steiton because at Leverkusen, that's where Tim Steiton came from. The thing is, with Leverkusen, is they're top of the Bundesliga at the moment. And I just cannot see them being willing to let him go. Why would he want to leave? Uh, because he's got a chance of a, of a winner's medal, a league winner's medal. That's got to be worth something, doesn't it? Well, look, that's so precious. It's 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 enticed uh, Harry Kane to move to the Bundesliga, even though Harry Kane probably would have, at some point this season or ne early next season, have got the all-time Premier League goalscorer's record. He still wanted to go to the Bundesliga. Why? For medals. So medals, obviously, you know, mean an awful lot to uh, footballers, as you can understand. Why Tar would want to uh, come to West Ham, I just don't know. The interesting thing is, whilst it's clearly a Tim Steiton a player known well to Tim Steiton. Apparently Moyes has been out and looked at him as well and likes what he sees. I don't know how we get information. You've got to take that stuff with a pinch of salt, the stuff that comes from Moyes. I said this before, David Moyes is very, very private. When it was getting leaked that, that David Moyes at the end of the season was going to leave because he told it to his friends. Do you remember I said at the time, David Moyes leaks nothing. You cannot believe that story. You know, his, his friends, why would his friends suddenly have started becoming gobby they don't he keeps his cards very close to his chest and, and nothing so I, I I can't imagine a situation where David Moyes has revealed to everyone that he's gone and watched Tar and he likes what he sees I I, I don't know um, another guy uh, Joe Worrell a uh, male in Nottingham Forest centre back we've been linked to him loads and loads of times before he'd fallen out of favour um I think under Cooper earlier on in the season I, I would imagine he's back in favour now um uh, because uh, Espirito Santo's gone uh, to uh, to the club, look to be doing a bit better as well, don't they? I think it's very hard to buy a player off another Premier League club because they're all rich. We're all rich. But comparatively, in terms of the money that everybody's got in the European game, we're pretty minted. Uh, and I think you can, unless a player's going to run down their contract, we'll get to that in just a bit, 
it's very hard to buy players off other Premier League clubs unless they want to let them go. Nottingham Forest are not going to get relegated this season, so we, you, Nottingham Forest know they're going to be armed with another. Their turnover is going to be at under an eighty million again. They just don't need to. They just don't need don't need to sell these players. So um, he's got that Dawson. He's got that Virgil Van Dawson look about him, no Warrow, and I could very much understand why David Moyes would be keen to sign a player like that. Um, Charlie Hughes, Wigan defender. We've been linked with him as a race between us and um, Ipswich Town, apparently. Don't know anything about the player at all. Uh, he, I think he played 20-odd games in the Championship last season and they got relegated. I think he's he's played all pretty much all the games uh, so far this season for Wigan. Uh, he's 20 years of age. Again, it's just not one I, I can see that we'd sign this player and, and he gets anywhere near the first team. So uh, I, I would very much discount this rumour as a little bit of transfer, tittle-tattle. But it is worth noting, one, one of the rumours I did believe was uh, Leif Davis, who is um, I think he's a left-back for Ipswich Town. Really, really good player. And we did retain an interest in him. Now, that I can believe. I, I really can not that I think there's anything wrong with um, with Emerson. Far from it. Emerson's been one of the best left backs in the in the Premier League. I uh, believe Davis has got a, a little bit of flexibility about him. Very, very uh, creative. He uh, takes free kicks. R real free kick specialist actually gets lots of assists. Uh, can score goals. And, and I think the, is there, there's one thing we've learned already that our squad, our team is very good. Our squad has nowhere near nowhere near the depth. And certainly you look at Aaron Cresswell. Who, funny enough, also came from Ipswich Town. Uh, he, he's not he's not up for the job, is he really, I, I think, anymore. And I've got nothing bad to say about Aaron Cresswell, but as it stands right now, there's a big drop-off between the standard of Emerson and the standard of Aaron Cresswell in terms of playing in the first team. Uh, what else we've got? We've got uh, Ben Johnson on his way out. Uh, the Evening Standard are reporting it as well um, as of today. Got good contacts within the club, the Evening Standard. Um, I, I don't they didn't specify... But Sean Dyche is a is a big admirer of him, and I, I think he's been. Look, we'll cover Ben. I'm going to cover all the players that could potentially leave in a video later on, um, and their values and, and that sort of thing, and how it works out with uh, FFP, particularly uh, UEFA FFP. So we'll deal with that a little bit later. Uh, finally, uh, lots of rumours now with uh, Divine Obama. He's he's uh, well, like Ben Johnson, no contract um, after the end of this season. The difference is Ben Johnson can walk around a free. Obama, it would go to Tribunal. West Brom are interested, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I think looking at how West Ham dealt with, and David Moyes in particular, dealt with Ngaki, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Obama stays and then does leave and then the Tribunal thing uh, gets done. And this certainly appears to be... Uh, so I, I did a video yesterday, I spoke about Callum Marshall. I've, I've had a couple of messages from people sort of indicating that that's quite high on the club's priority list to get the Callum Marshall uh, thing uh, dealt with. So And, and Mubama will not sign a new contract at West Ham, that's the, the other thing. And again, you can sort of understand that from his point of view as well, can't you? So uh, there you go, there's a lot of transfer news today. It's going to move very, very quickly because, well, tomorrow, isn't it? It's, it's tomorrow, <laughs> the transfer window opens. So uh, yeah, so I'll get the other video up uh, later on, later on tonight and uh, have a very, very happy new year. Mm -hmm.